States. It will be a party that will lose elections from now to the end of my lifetime. Evening of Tuesday, the 6th of November 2012, the closest US election predicted since the controversial poll in 2000. JCRs around Oxford were a buzz with the fever of a night that could end one way or another, each supporting their chosen candidate, the savvier among them following the latest updates carefully. In line with the rest of the world polling, Oxford students seemed generally in support of the president. But only American visiting students could cast their ballots for either Democrat President Barack Obama or Republican challenger Mitt Romney. With polls showing a statistical dead heat, control of a handful of crucial swing states would reveal who would wake up as designated leader of the world's most powerful nation. Uh, well, Obama would be my first choice of two, uh, because I'm uh, scared of Mitt Romney. I think Obama has a very good chance of winning. I think, I think it's almost certainly going to be Obama. I love Barack Obama. Tonight is about good against evil. It's about good. It's about gays, gays' rights. It's about women's rights. It's about the rights of the poor. It's about the rights of just about anyone who matters. Vote for Romney. It's a vote for freedom. Who do you guys think? Obama. 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 I'm, I voted for Obama um, a couple weeks ago, absentee ballot, and it's important to me because of his social policies primarily, um, his stance on health care, his stance on abortion, gay rights, uh, birth control for women, and some of his fiscal policies. Um, just, I think he's done an amazing job in the last four years, so that's important to me. I think that, um, well, I think the most important thing that um, the president has done was his handling of the economy, I thought that the, um, the bailouts, although not quite as big as they ought to have been, were still a better course of action than anything proposed by the other side. I'm hoping Barack Obama will win and retain the presidency, uh, mainly because I think he's done a reasonably good job so far, but mainly I think he'd be a lot better option than Mitt Romney for the next four years for America and for the world. Obama! I want Romney to win because I think his views on, on the economy and his plans for the American budget are much better and much better thought out than Obama's and I think that's what the election should rest on, on the economy. I'd like Obama to win tonight and it's more purely for party political reasons in that I think an Obama, Obama White House would be far better at dealing with a Republican Congress and then the policies they would put through. Um, why do I want Obama to win? Well. The Republican Party has been quite, I would say, destructive in the political process for the last four years. And if there's anything I dislike, it's a rewarding failure. I want Romney to win. Uh, Obama has had a lot of uh, chances, and he had a lot of potential coming in. Unfortunately, his actions as president haven't always been the best. Unfortunately, I think Romney has the skills necessary to get us out of what the president's put us in. I love Obama and his promise. Unfortunately, I think Romney is the better candidate. I hope that Obama wins this election because I think that he really represents more of the rights for everybody that America was based on and that it hasn't always represented. Uh, where is your home state? I live in Arlington, Virginia, right across the river from D.C. Um, so uh, w which way do you think your, your, your state will go tonight? It's been called very closely for either candidate. It's a swing state right now, but part of the fact of it is that the Republican parts of the state usually come in a lot earlier than the Democratic parts of the state. So the Democratic parts of the state are also more populous, and that's why it's a swing state. Um, I think it might go to Romney, though. Well, fingers crossed. Right. Well into the small hours, the battleground states began to declare. New Hampshire, Wisconsin, Michigan and Pennsylvania went blue. And later on, New Mexico, Nevada, Iowa and Ohio joined the Obama column, sealing his re-election well before the break of day. As dawn rose on Wednesday the 7th, Obama had a lead of 303 to 206 over Romney in the Electoral College, and a convincing margin of the popular vote. We're all really happy. I'm really happy that Obama got in, and I think it's amazing that you know, even though we were all quite uncertain at the time, like about three o'clock, we were all still quite nervous about the result. Um, I felt a bit distraught actually. I thought that America had a real chance to change, and um, instead they've given four more years of mediocrity to themselves. Um, yeah, I'm really thrilled. I think most of the other Americans here are pretty thrilled. <laughs> did you want him to? Did you want him to win? Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, now he has time to really institute some of uh, the changes that he proposed during his first uh, candidacy. In the end, the result was not as tight as we had all anticipated. But with Obama now safely back in the White House, it seems that many Oxford students will be feeling a great sense of relief today. Not only that their preferred candidate won, but that this long, expensive election campaign is finally over. This is Zinfan reporting for Chowell Online.